Hello YouTube, it's me Craig and the ongoing trauma of dieting, having nothing but, uh, well that stuff there, <laughs> essentially, ultra, ultra life. Um, I'm not sponsored by them, I don't know anything about them, but that's what I'm having. And so far the strawberry is really nice. I'll tell you what I have noticed, the, uh, the chocolate doesn't really taste like chocolate and it's also got bits in it, bits seem to struggle uh, to... Um, struggle to dissolve when you shake them up and I, so I've started sieving it and when I sieve it there are little flakes of brown stuff in there so I'm not really sure what that is so I don't like it having a shake and there to be something solid go down as well that that scares me um, but anyway it's weigh-in day it's um do my blood day and it is also take my pressure day now the last if you remember the last time I uh, last video I pointed out that my blood sugar was actually surprisingly high. You know, it was up at 14 or something, and it should be around about 8.5 or below and below. <clears throat> but um, that was kind of kind of bad news for me. So I started doing my blood tests every two or three days just to keep on on, on track with it. Now, when you do your blood test, what you have to do is you have a little pack. They're very cheap to buy, a few six six or seven pound on. On, uh, on the well-known website that sells you everything that you need. Uh, they, and it's kind of like just, a, it's a little um, container full of these strips that have got like some sort of, uh, not magnetic, but data, st uh, metal strips in it. It's kind of like a data strip. And uh, you get like a little needle, which is a little green thing with a little, tiny little needle on the end. And then you get the special little um, tube, which is like a gun. And it springs it back and it will ping it into your thumb creating like a little prick and then the blood comes out and then you quickly, as quick as you can, pick up the device that you've inserted your little um, data strip into and then you pop that next to the blood and the blood goes zip up the little um, thing <laughs> and it tells you a number. I don't, want to, I don't know what the number means but as long as that says something like seven or six or eight, I'm happy. Even nine I'd be happy with but before I was getting like 15, 17, it was too high. But it's back to normal, and I realized what I was doing wrong. I was storing the little data strips in just around the pack because it's easier to get them out. And the mistake of doing that is that I think they must be light sensitive or there was like microbes in the air or something, but something was contaminating the sticks. So you have to keep them in that airtight, light, tight container. Uh, and now I've been doing that, everything's back to normal. So I've had my way in. And it's good news, but it's not as big a news as you might think. I'm not losing as you know, the first week I lost a stone, the second week I lost two. Um, but now we're into the fourth week. Um, I'm thinking that I'm, I, well, I knew I wouldn't be losing as much. But if you remember when I started out, uh, I was 135, sorry, 335, I wish 135, 335 pounds. And now I am, uh, well, I'll tell you in a second. But um, my blood glucose, I'm glad to say, is 5.8. Uh, my blood pressure is down to 124 over 80. Uh, the second number was up in the hundreds before. So this is great news. And my body weight is now 301 pounds. So that's a loss of 34 pounds. Uh, not a great amount on last week. Uh, and I'm thinking now that even if I lose four pounds, um, four pounds a week, is that possible? Uh, then I'm well on the way to losing another two stone uh, by the end of the program. But even at the end of the program, after 12 weeks, there's then a program of um, being sort of having my hand held as I pick healthier food to eat for the next 12 months. It's just for the whole year uh, that I'm going to be looked after by these guys. It's such a great service that they're providing and they'll be doing regular check-ins. I've got to start photographing my food when I get back on it. All I'm thinking about these days is food. Uh, not um, in a way of, I really have to go and get some, but more in a way of, um, I can't wait to get healthy and then eat healthier food. You know, like I'm thinking about chicken salads and burritos and um, just, just eating decent food, but not massive portions of it. So, and th now this stuff's there, you know, I'll, I, I'm even thinking that, well, maybe there'll be times if I do go a little bit over one week, a couple of pounds, 
then I'll do that stuff for a week again. And I'm, I don't know if that's the healthy thing to do, but I'm definitely going to start. Now I know there's everything in there to keep me full. Because I think there is some element to it which kind of just fills you up. Like maybe it expands in my stomach or something. I don't know. But it's, uh, it's really good. I'm not hungry at all. So I've been missing a couple. Uh, sometimes I've like gone without having a meal because I've just not been hungry and I've forgotten. Now I've set up alarms on my on my watch to remind me, go and have your meal every three hours. Um, and uh, it's going pretty well. So it's all, it's all good news. It's all good news. And uh, hopefully uh, you find this inspiring. Let me know what your stories are about weight loss if you're doing this program. And I'll look forward to um, hearing your stories. But from me until next week, cheerio.